party going on back there. It looks mental. How about that? It looks like the Green Goblin in the background. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a POV with a Sony A6400 and combining it with this very unique 50mm lens. What makes it unique is the aperture. If you see right here, it's a 0.95 f-stop lens, which is going to be super challenging to shoot with because this is also a manual focusing lens. I'd also like to say a massive thank you to the folks over at Seven Artians for sending me out this lens to try out and use. Also, at the end of today's video, we are going to be having a look through the hashtag CP Photos. If you're new to the channel, the hashtag CP Photos is where you can share your photography with me. And at the end of each video, I spend a little bit of time looking through some of the work over on Instagram. All the photography in today's video has been edited using my preset pack where you'll find 143 presets for only £15. If you want to check it out for yourself, link is in the description below. But with that all said and done, let's get out and start shooting. I want to get a photo of an umbrella straight off the bat. Uh, my exposure's all wrong, I'm all wrong, I don't know what I'm doing. ISO's at 100,000 for some reason, now I've missed. God, this camera's so hard to focus. Also, it doesn't help that I was using the aperture and not the focus. There's the first shot of an umbrella. I'm going to try to go to different parts of Leeds today. I'm hoping it starts raining again soon, because I really wanted a rainy POV. But it doesn't seem to be happening as of yet. How was that shot right there? I think that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool shot. Should have changed the composition a little bit. Should have maybe gone a little bit down. We're just warming up. We're just warming up. And working with a manual focusing lens. We got some uh, police horses right here. And then uh, what I'm going to do for this shot is I'm going to go a bit further down. Focus about there. And uh, we got a brilliant shot right there. Absolutely stunning horses as well. Don't see that every day. I really want to try out the uh, depth of field in this lens, really see what it's made of. Uh, there's only thing to focus on here, yeah. Focus on this back wheel here, the bike. I'm going to bring down the exposure. I'm actually uh, bringing down the ISO because I can't bring up the shutter speed anymore. Bring it about there. There we go. Oh, that is some creaminess to that background. Oh, we're going to have some fun with this. Right, I'm going to try and focus on this guy right in front of us. Right there. That composition right there. Oh, that's cool. All right, mate. Do you want a photo? Can I take a photo of you? Wait there, and... Oh, that looks awesome, dude. There you go, dude. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Take care, buddy. Take care. Hey, nice gentleman right there. Just got to wait a few moments to see if we can get the shot. There we go. We got the shot we wanted right there, that gentleman. Security's crawling all over the place. Get for this couple right here. Kind of cool. Oh, I'm gonna get a photo of here because this looks just really cool. Maybe get a bit of foreground in like that. Oh, that's very really nice. Pop down here, see if we can see any interesting subjects. We've got this woman right here on the phone. That looks kind of cool. I love the vintage kind of vibes on that photo. Can I get a reflection here? It'd be awesome if we've got a bus coming towards me in the reflection. Like that right there. Dirty puddle, but actually cool result. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stand here, wait like an absolute lunatic for a bus. Alright, let's have it. I'm gonna go further down. Cool that. We'll take that, we'll take that. Wonder what reflection we can get from this side of the puddle. Let's give it a go. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Let's see if we push back a bit. Try and get run over. Like that. We get a photo of uh, this train station right there. I'm going to get lower down to the ground in a second to get a better shot. Oh, look at the flowing from that lens. That's kind of interesting. Use this leading line right here to Lee's train station. 
Get down to the ground, focus on the sign right there. I have no worry about being run over here because it's a one-way system. So if I get run over from behind, I will be doubly surprised. Right, here, actually, I wonder if uh, nothing's coming here. Let's just jump right in the middle of the road. Right there. Ooh, I'd also like to try and get a photo of this gentleman right here. Right there, perfect. I want to get a single subject in this frame on their own. This woman right here might be the subject. Right there. Yo, look at this, guys. This is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Oh, I love the colour scheme. Look at that. Oh, what a piece of art, isn't it? All right, we'll get a few angles. Look at the colour scheme on this car. This is stunning. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, this is madness. Let's grab a shot right there. I'm actually going to open up the aperture a bit, bring down the shutter speed uh, about there. That's gorgeous. That Ferrari logo, I wanted to hit you. So many different angles. That steering wheel right here. Let's just grab this. Bring down that shutter speed quite a lot. Bring up the aperture a bit. And what we can do. Focus on this rear headlight right here. I want to get a photo further down. <laughs> uh, I'll get this shot right here. I want to go just a bit further back. Lower down. Like that. And I want to get a shot like this as well. There we go, and I think that's the last shot we can get of it. Oh, we might actually turn the headlights on. Let's hear this baby purr. I want to really bump up the aperture for this shot. Oh, that sounds amazing. You cannot beat that. I've never seen a Ferrari in those colours before. That is something special. You get the building in the background as well. Really just make it pop. Make it pop. It hasn't got the turning circle for that, I guarantee it hasn't got the turn turning circle. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Ferrari, it hasn't got the turning circle. <laughs> I would really like to do a photo shoot with a car like that or any real nice awesome car. So if anybody knows anyone who wants some photography, who's in the area of maybe Manchester Leeds, let me know. Drop me a message on Instagram. Let me know in the comment section below because it's something I'd really like to do. I'd like to bring you guys this year a video dedicated and focused towards car photography. Maybe do a, a few this year, but I'd like to do one and basically uh, pop my cherry with that one because I've never done it. Not a dedicated car shoot. And then uh, I'm trying to get a subject on their own. I'd like one person. Right, looking back, we got one of them. One of them I'm really happy with, so we'll take that. That looks super moody. There we go. Another spring right here. This. Let's look at the framing, I'm not sure. That's pretty cool with all the flowers making. Grab it here. Look at a peaky binder right there. That's a cool frame. Oh, that's very... I mean, apart from the uh, duffel bag, that's very peaky blinders ass. All right, we've got the clean frame we wanted of the top right here. So focus it about there. Get centered to it using the path right here as a guideline. And that looks pretty cool. What would be nice? I keep saying cool, I need to stop saying cool. It's having someone work left to right of it. That would look interesting. Um, what about this? What about this? Uh, got a bit of the golden hour going on, and he's slight. Well, this could be cool. Can't get it all in. I'll just focus on that bit instead. That's a that's a nice composite right there.
There we go, we've got a couple of photos there. I've got a photo of Gentleman, and then I'm going to get a photo like this and look at the depth of field. Oh, composite vault there, because look at all the lights in the background there. That is just true capabilities of this, like, insane aperture. That depth of field. Oof. Right, for this photograph, what I want to do is focus on that t taxi logo right there. A clean shot like that, right above. As it goes like that, yes, because I've got nice bow work in the background. That's well, I'm going to make the lamest pun in the world here, but that is a very rude frame. Right, a frame right there, the guy. Over each driver. I went right low to the ground to get the shots. Did that work? Oh, I actually kind of like that. Let's see if I can actually frame it up there. I thought it was a throwaway shot, but had results. That was good. Framing's good. Not about the focus. That's another question entirely. All right, so the final touches are now complete to this apartment. I've got some of my photos on the wall. And when you walk in, it really just hits you. And I think that was the final touch that needed to be added to this space. And it really brings it all together. I also love seeing my photography printed because it's completely different to like seeing it on a screen, seeing it on your phone. Does anyone else have their own work printed? I think, I think it's something that not a lot of people do, but they definitely should because it gives you a different appreciation and it just looks completely different. I remember when I did that night POV. Sorry, let me go over there. You remember when I did that uh, night POV with the Sony A7R4? All those photographs were taken within two hours of each other, so I've decided to go with all London theme right there. Also, did you like my socks? They're amazing, right? Definitely the wrong time of year to be wearing them. Actually, is there a wrong time of year to be wearing these? One day in summer, I'm going to be wearing them and I'm going to like show them off. So let's speak very quickly about this uh, 50mm lens. First one, build quality, get the boring stuff out of the way. Feel solid in the hand, nice transition and uh, very smooth for the focusing right here. Same with the aperture as well. In terms of the creative process, it definitely was a struggle. Uh, shooting with a manual focusing lens. Don't get me wrong, I've shot with manual focusing lenses before, I've shot with vintage lenses, but it's the combination of having manual focusing and an f0.95 aperture. But I enjoyed shooting with it. There was a certain challenge to it, and you really had to think a bit ahead about what you were trying to photograph your subjects, and sometimes you missed, sometimes you lost them, but I think I got quite a few good shots, but not all of them are absolute bangers. But if people would like to see more POVs with this kind of lens, uh, let me know in the comments section below. Uh, now I need to find my phone, and we'll have a look for the hashtag. Uh, also, bit of an update on the Sony A7 IV. It is due to be arriving tomorrow, so this video is coming out tomorrow, so it should have arrived by the time this video is out. But anyway, on Saturday, I have got a shoot planned. I've been contacting a few mates of mine and I've been able to hook some it up and we're going to be throwing the Sony a7 IV straight in at the deep end. So if you've got any questions about the camera or anything like that, I'm going to be doing plenty of videos on it in the future. So leave them in the comment section below. Drop me some questions over on Instagram if you want to. But yeah, I can't wait for uh, the shoot on Saturday I've got planned. It is going to be top level okay so now let's jump into the hashtag cp photos see what you guys are creating we've got 20 oh let me start screen recording 21.2 thousand posts on the hashtag we'll go to recent start around here oh already i'm hit with uh, so many great shots this one right here camera lizard photos this is ace those two subjects the lights and the floor must have been like a reflective puddle it is awesome. This right here by Adam. That is a lovely building. Look at that. And all that architecture and everything. That is stunning. That is, I love that. Uh, let's scroll down. This one again, Christie Media. Awesome shot right there. Uh, I like this one. This is very unique by It's a Street Thing. Shot with the Fuji Film X100V. There's been a lot of hype around that camera recently. I'd actually wouldn't mind doing a POV with it myself because uh, I just think it's gonna be a pretty unique kind of camera. But I love the composition of this shot with the uh, frozen window. You can clearly see there's an outline of someone there. That is uh, absolutely awesome. This one as well, this one by Just Like 1971. That is cool, I love all that. The landscape shot works perfectly, the composition, everything about that. Uh, let's, ooh, which one should we go for here? There's so many to choose from. I'm gonna go with this one. 
by Cuts24. These are pretty cool shots of that depth of field you got going on there. Same with these ones here by Streets um, RNTS. These are really cool. Nice series of uh, photographs you've got right here. I like every single one of them. Uh, where shall we go next? It's too many to choose from. Hmm. Which one do we choose? This is kind of cool, the fog. It's a street thing again. I'll give you a like. Let's go uh, to this one by KJ. W Ren 77 like both of those shots that first one is definitely better because you can't tell it's like in the middle of a road or something uh, This one is a nice snowy one by Beck Sun. That's uh, really cool right there and we'll have a look at two more this one right here by Kolf. I've uh, probably butchered that uh, I love these dark vibes. Look at that. And I love that you've used the slower shutter speed to have something whizzing past. Would have been really cool to have a subject there. Actually, no, it wouldn't. It looks great how it is. I love that. And this is the last one we'll have a look at today. And it's by Vin. Like this wide angled shot. I wonder what lens you used for that. But the colours, how you've um, brought it all out, punchiness, the composition, that guy in the bike, all comes together beautifully. That is a great shot. A massive thank you to everyone continuing to use the hashtag CP photos. But that's where I'm gonna be leaving today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, like, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. It'd be deeply appreciated. But until next time, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.